Hey guys, PC Basics back at you with another video. You read the title, you know what's going on. Let me show you what we need. So right here, I got, you'll, you'll recognize these. I've got these in every video basically. We got the Kingston A400 240 gigabyte SSD. It's like 17 bucks on Amazon. Cheap, good. All right, we got this SP memory, DDR3, 1600 megahertz. We got two eight gigabyte sticks for 16 gigs of memory. Got the screwdriver set, a dust rag, our USB with, uh, this is a USB type three, uh, 16 gigabyte micro center USB 3.1 drive uh, with Windows 10 on it. We got our Arctic MX4 thermal paste from Amazon. And then here we got two little uh, things for uh, we got the surface purifier for thermal paste and the surface thermal paste remover and then lastly we just got our regular electronic spray dust can thing so come around this way cameraman watch the cords on the ground here we have make sure they can see the screen Intel Core 2 Duo E7500 we got the 8 gigs of RAM and we have a uh, 231 to probably 250 gigabyte 7200 RPM drive. It's a disc or a uh, spinning disc. Um, and then let me show you I ran Cinebench. Here is our single core score. 350 points right here and for our multi-core we had 734 so we're gonna upgrade this bad boy after cleaning it and we shut it down we're gonna make this thing a fast machine and by fast I mean quicker than it was not fast oh. yeah we got our cleaning supplies um, I probably should have grabbed uh, like a wipe to wipe it off with because I don't have any eucalyptus oil All right, hey look what I found there like harsh chemicals cleaning it it's not gonna like take the paint off or anything so anyway we're gonna start on the top and work our way down I'm gonna be careful of this sticker How you open this thing up is you pull this lever back it opens up this side panel there we go you can see there's a spider in here already so you know it's not very clean and take this one all right so we cleaned the outside pretty pretty well I guess it's not the best job ever but it was just real quick now we're gonna spray it out um, should probably grab my screwdrivers because this filter or this cover that actually vents the CPU heat 
is screwed down and I have to blow that out but I'll probably do that in a second so I'm actually gonna set this back down this way if you want to look down in here we're gonna pull this up pull this back and lift out and unplug it okay now I'm just gonna hold on to this there's not really a good spot to put it out here since the wet I'm just gonna start dusting this off Wow, that worked. CPU uh, or take the take this cover off we're gonna take the P, the CPU out uh, clean it off put some new thermal paste on it and we're gonna start doing some upgrades okay so first of all gotta get this screw loosen it a little bit and this screw right here Okay, and then you just pull. Okay, there we go. So it loosens up. There we go. Okay. Then you just do that. Now you can see the dry thermal paste. And you can see I gotta dust this out better. Good thing I still got my rag and the duster. So set that aside real quick. We're gonna take this uh, disc drive out. Carefully, without breaking it. There we go. Set this to the side. Okay. So now you can see we have a pretty open or exposed computer. We're going to take the CPU out by pushing down on that and pulling to the side. And that will release it. And then you can pick up here. And there we are. There's the CPU. So again, this is a Core 2 Duo. Um, yeah, i figure out how to pick this up without dropping it. There we go. Okay, and we're going to start by cleaning this. So Get this thermal paste remover. A napkin. Not exactly the right way to do it, but there's not much choice. So, just going to do that. Let it sit for a minute, spread it around as much as I can. You can see the thermal paste is already starting to come off. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Now, without making too much of a mess. Yeah, that's in there. Okay. That's as good as that will get. Perfect. Now we're going to clean this off. This is the uh, CPU cooler. I'm going to put some thermal paste remover on there. That's going to drip off. <laughs> Okay, so that's 
quite a bit better. I'm gonna blow this out off or outside real quick. So I just blew this off the best I could, wiped the dust out of it as much as I possibly could with a rag. Still a little dirty, but kind of out of compressed air. So this is the best I could do. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some thermal paste, which we have right here. Come close, my boy. Okay, so obviously the CPU was not wiped off amazingly well or anything, but it's the best I could do. I'm gonna make an X pattern. Okay. Hopefully that's not too much or too little. Looks like a good amount to me. Got some of this on the outside. We'll just put it on the rag, it's fine. Okay. So, now we can drop this cooler back in. But I think before I do that, I'm going to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive. So, we'll start by taking, also this cable's in the way because it just goes to this uh, USB and SD card and all that. Um, so, can, can you see okay? Yeah. Okay, well, maybe we'll turn it this way so you can see just a little better, you know? Okay. So, we're going to start by undoing this memory. Take that out. Here's our 4 gigabyte stick. This is DDR3. Wow, I'm shaking on it. DDR3 at, um, oh wow, it's not even 1600 megahertz. So we're getting faster RAM and more RAM. Okay. And this one. Same thing. There we go. So as you can see here, we got our SP RAM out of the package. Um, you can see it's got the pinhole in the same spot. If I move it over, look at this one. Pinhole in the same spot. So, we're going to drop this in here. These are 8 gigabyte sticks, as I said previously. Just going to carefully do this. So, just drop it in these pins. There we are. And then we push down. Possible. Jeez. I didn't even go in all the way. Yep, that is seated in there. Okay, that seems uh seemed a little rough, but okay. So I chose these sticks because one, they're smaller. Um and they were cheap. And you know I like spending as little as possible when operating. There we go. Those dropped right in. Kind of. They they took a lot of force for some reason. But it fits. It works. We'll, we'll see if it works. Should be good. Should be. Now, we're going to um, unplug this hard drive here. And pull it out. And you can see, this is a three and a half inch drive. The one I got is a two and a half inch drive. I'll show you the cheap way of putting that in there without having to buy an adapter because it costs more money. I look at the label. Yes. Okay, that's one unplugged. We're gonna unplug this one as easy as possible. Yeah, that's me just being rough on things, you know. Okay, so I assume this comes out the same way, maybe? There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now what? Oh, the cable's in the way. Whoops. And then, this comes right up like so. So we don't need this anymore, but you can see there's screws here we gotta take out. Just be gentle, okay. Hard drives out. Now we're gonna put the solid state drive in. Alright, so here we have our Kingston 
SSD. And you can see these holes right here. I'm assuming one lines up. So, because we don't have an adapter, we're going to drop this back in, take some double-sided tape, slide it in right here. That will be just fine. Drop that back in, push it forward, locks in. As you can see, I got dust on my hands because I'm getting it on there. Okay. Now we just gotta it up. Okay, good to go. Alright, so here I got some double sided tape from out in the garage. We're just gonna stick it on like so. Okay, and then if I had any fingernails, this would be easier. You just pull this red uh, seal off. Alright, <laughs> we got it. Now, we just stick it on here. And that can come off pretty easily if it needs to come off, but it won't come off just from transporting the computer around, which is what we want. So I'm just going to put some light pressure on this. I don't want to push too hard because I don't want to destroy the board in there. Okay. So, how this slides on, still kind of dusty on the outside, is these slide into these tabs right here, like so. Boom. Pretty nice. Let me just screw these down. All right, now we just gotta put this DVD ROM drive back in. This is a, who made this? It's a model DH16D5S, made in 2011. <laughs> Pretty old, okay. Slot, I'm in the way, aren't I? Okay, I'll just drop it down, open that, push forward, <clears throat> and put the piece of resistance, and put this cover back on. I believe that goes this way, yep. Okay, now you can see we have power in there. Making a weird buzzing noise. Oh, it's because it's turned on already. What's going on? Why is it doing that? So, after some basic troubleshooting, the RAM gave us some issues. So, I put in the old sticks, it worked. So we'll be back when Windows is installed and I'll do some Cinebench testing and stuff, get it updated, and uh, yeah, that will conclude the video. Alright guys, we're back. We got Windows installed on this Dell Optiplex. Um, if I go here, you can see, same computer. And now it's just got the SSD in it, the Kingston SSD. Um, so sadly, I couldn't do a RAM upgrade on this computer. It doesn't support the, um, the 16 gigabytes of RAM. I was going to show you the, uh, the benchmark I did after the SSD upgrade, but I'll just put it on the screen for you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.